In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a photograph, modify it so that the background becomes crisp, clear white, so that the photograph looks like as if it's almost floating. Let's get started. I have already selected the photograph I want to modify. Let's continue editing. The basic edits has an auto fix button. Sometimes that's all it takes. Click on that to see if that'll fix it. And as you can see, it did, it did make it a little bit crispier, but I want it wider. So if you don't like how it looks, you can always select the undo, but I did like the auto fix and made the photograph look even brighter. From here, I'm also going to crop it because I don't want all that other extra negative space. Whenever I apply any type of feature, you have to select the apply button to anchor it. Next, we're going to go to the effects tab and scroll down. You see how he's got the little subtitles, camera, color. We want to select the miscellaneous area. And here it is. Click on doodle. Brush color, we want it to be white. Brush size, because I want to cover the larger portion first, I'm going to select a brighter brush. You can see the circles bright. I can go a little bit bigger. See that? So I can cover more of the space faster. Next, I want the hardness of the brush to be really soft. So you see I put that up to, to zero. Now I just get started and you see how much area I can cover all at once. And that blue hue is turning into a very crisp white. So I'm going to just do enough here. I'm going to just cancel that to get it out of the way. You can see how quickly I can do this with a much bigger brush and what I'm doing is just leaving enough of an area exposed where I'm going to just make my brush a little bit a little bit smaller. If ever, like let's say I go too far, I can always come up here and undo it. See how easy that is? Now I want to really get into the edges. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. That's going to cover less. It gives me more control. And I'm also going to zoom into the picture. See how I did that? I went to the uh, lower right hand portion to zoom in. Now I'm going to just take one little portion at a time. See what I'm doing there? Just take my time. I could make my brush a little bit smaller to get into the grooves there. See how that goes? And remember to just click and drag a little bit at a time because if you ever go too far in, you can always come in here and undo, but it only undoes that small portion that you've just done it. See how I just did that? Let me undo that. And let me just cover all this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I continue to get rid of all of the shading. I did leave a little bit underneath to give it a small little shadow. As you can see, it looks very crisp now. I'm just going to do a last little run here. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to apply the effect. And now it's ready to be saved onto my desktop. So I'm going to close the photo, save it. And from here, I'm going to just name it uh, Red Mini Oil Cloth Pouch, picture number one. And I like everything else. So let's go to Oil Cloth. Let's go here. Sorry about that. Let's just save it right here. And I think we're done. It's just saving. And hopefully you found this tutorial very simple. And uh, I encourage you to try it. It was pretty close. It was pretty easy. Have fun.